Um, so I do try to send you guys plenty of wire. I'll lay it out. And I am certain there's also a better way to do this. I'll lay it out and guess. Make sure I, I like to try. If I did, if I do a good job, it'll be about an inch too long when I cut it like this. Um, <clears throat> that's what I like to do. Um, if you want to waste a bunch of it, that's fine, whatever. Um, so I'll take my end, right, Sha, that is flat, and I will start somewhere here, and I'll show you guys, but somewhere here, that is, like, so this is our, I like, I want to start right here, see if it's in line with this head stud hole right here, I want to start right there, that way, it's got a lot of clamp force on the joint, and you can see like this one where I did, it's right here on the joint, okay, does that make sense, all right, so, Josh can edit that out if he wants to, or he can leave it. I do not care. So anyway, let's see if I can, oh man, getting y'all swivelly and stuff here. So, what I'm gonna do is take that flat spot, said flat spot, start at the headstead hole, kind of make it fit, give her a couple of light taps. It doesn't take much. Please don't use anything harder than this soft wood. Maybe somebody makes something specifically for this. I don't know. Um, I'll just kind of guide it around into its groove. Keep it good and happy. You know, I've done probably a thousand of these, so I mean, it is a little bit easier on me. If it takes you longer than this, then that's not a big deal. I'll get it close like that, as you guys may be able to see here. I went a little over an inch. That's about an inch and a half, two inches. If I, if you ask my wife, that's six inches. So 